Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we will see a new Oxygen OS update, update rollout for the OnePlus 3 and 3D devices. It is called as a Oxygen OS 4.1.7. And as per the OnePlus, it is a major update around more than a 400 MB of the update. I have a OnePlus 3 device with me and let's today we will see how this upgrade will give the best feature to the OnePlus 3 devices. Before upgrading my device, I will show you my original version of this uh, particular device. You can see my device is on 4.1.6 Oxygen OS version, OnePlus 3 device with 6 gigs of RAM, Android 7.1.1. Let me show you the anti to benchmark for this particular device for Oxygen OS 4.1.6. It is a 147K. Now let's go to the settings and system updates. We will see, you can see there is a new tab available over here. That means a new update is pop up. This is a new Oxygen OS update 4.1.7 with size of 413 MB. Let me say you that you, you don't need to download this update via OPN or VPN or anything, Opera VPN or anything like this. Because sometimes some OTA updates are only for the regional updates and they doesn't require your device to be get installed. Though this update is a universal update, but in general, please make this practice that don't download the any OTA update via any VPN or something like this. It, there are chances that it may be a brick your device or it, there may be some bugs with your device that that is not a regional bugs and you will just install that particular uh, your OTA VPN through VPN and uh, your device performance will also get slowed down. So I got this update from the OTA itself without any VPN. 413 MB update with Oxygen OS 4.1.7. And uh, you can see the improvements they have talking about enhanced system fluidity, uh, battery optimization. So this is the main feature, battery optimization. I need to test this during the next couple of days. And Android security patch will update to August. So thumbs up OnePlus for giving such a latest uh, security patch set update. And also they have fixed some sound channel error for the recording videos. Now the second bug fix is call is routed to speaker accidentally by some third party apps. Another bug fix is rendering issue for Indian Kannada language. Another bug fix is app locker issue caused by some third party application. And one more bug fix is as per the Google hangout will be removed if you haven't update if up it on a play store. So to keep the hangout please update it prior to the upgrade. So let me check out if my hangout is updated or not. Let me go to the play store and let me type the hangout. And I can see there is an update available. So I will just update my hangout so that it won't remove for this update. I have updated the Hangout application. Now let's go to the again system. Now I will start downloading this particular update. We will again come once this download is completed. So here it is. The download is hundred percent completed. And now we will reboot the system to the upgrade now. Before doing that, I have some practice to remove the junk files. So let's go to the settings. And let's go to storage and memory. I will remove the cache data from over here and also I will remove the cache data once the upgrade is completed so that there will not be any uh, old data present in the cache 
and it won't affect the battery life. You can see I have almost 2 GB of cache data. So let me delete this cache data. Now it will show as a zero. Let me go back again. Go to the system updates. Since my update is 100% completed, I will reboot the upgrade to the recovery mode. Now it is preparing the Android system for the upgrade. It will take some time. Since it is a 820 chipset, one of the fastest chipset apart from 835. So it shouldn't take more than a 5 minute by starting the device. Now updating the device. It will take around 4 to 5 minutes to complete the upgrade. You can see my device is uh, completed the update process and you can see system has been updated to the oxygen OS latest version. So let's go to the settings and let's check the latest version which is 4.1.7. So let's test the benchmark for this. I'm just starting the entity test benchmark you can see this is the previous benchmark 147 276 and we will now test again the benchmark test is completed and you can see it is showing 123k so it is a little bit lesser than the previous benchmark which we took so i don't know whether it's uh, I mean it's real or not but we will test this benchmark again after a couple of days and we will see if there is any improvement in the benchmark or not and uh, one more thing I would like to know tell you that since we have performed this update now we will go to the clean master app and uh, we will down, uh, clean all the junk files because we don't want to have problem with our battery life so let me clean this junk files. You can see there is some around 50 MB of uh, 54 MB of junk file. I will just clear those junk files. Once this is completed, I will again go to the settings, storage and memory. And I will clear the cache from here. When this cache is clear, we will wipe the cache from the recovery mode. For that, let's go to settings, developer option, and we will enable the advanced reboot option. We will reboot the phone into recovery mode.
let me enter the password This one plus 3 and 3D are still the one of the good phone because it runs on the Snapdragon 820 and 821 chipset and they are one of the good processors in the today's generation. Let's go to English, wipe data and cache and wipe cache. Cache will be wipe, yes. Wipe success, reboot. So in this way we have just wiped the cache, delete the cache from the recovery mode as well. So this is essential to get a good battery performance. Now we will test our battery in next couple of days and I will let you know how can we go about with this battery. I will post another video for this for the battery optimizations point. Thank you guys for watching this video.